just want to ask very briefly if, if you're aware of um, Brittany Griner's detention being extended um, by the Russians. So I've seen those reports. I've seen the reports emanate from Russia that her detention has been extended. Our position for some time on this has been very clear. Uh, Brittany Griner should not be detained. Uh, she, she should not be detained for a single day longer. Uh, we have characterized her. We have characterized Paul Whelan, who was also uh, spent far too long in Russian detention uh, as wrongful detainees. The team here, uh, individuals uh, around the world are working around the clock uh, to secure and to effect their uh, safe and prompt release and also the safe and prompt release of wrongful American detainees around the world. We are in constant contact uh, with her team and her network uh, back here at home. I think you all have seen that yesterday, uh, representatives of the department, representatives of the uh, Special Presidential Envoy for Hostage Affairs, uh, and a senior representative from our Bureau of Educational and Cultural Affairs uh, met with uh, Phoenix Mercury um, as they are here. So we are regularly keeping them uh, apprised uh, of her case. We were last able to have consular access to Brittany Griner last month. Uh, we continue to press uh, for regular continued access to all American detainees who are in pretrial detention, uh, whether they are unjustly detained, as is Brittany Griner, uh, or whether uh, they are facing uh, criminal charges. Uh, this is a case that we are uh, working assiduously behind the scenes. Um, we've been in regular contact with Russian authorities regarding it. This case is problematic from top to bottom. Uh, it is precisely why we have characterized Brittany Griner as a uh, wrongful detainee. It's precisely why uh, we are doing everything we can uh, to see and to affect uh, her prompt release from Russian detention.